So have you ever been frustrated by belly fat that just won't seem to go away? And are you tired of doing sit-ups and crunches and seeing no results in the mirror? And would you like to have more confidence and feel better overall? Well, if so, hang on because I've got some proven strategies that will help you lose that belly fat once and for all and keep it off. I'm Steve Stearns and I help men and women over 40 look and feel their best. By making small changes that have a big impact, I help you create a healthy lifestyle you love. So follow me at stevestearns365.com and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe because I put out a new video and free resource every week. Before we get into the strategies, let's take a second and talk about what belly fat is, why it happens and why it's such a problem. You know, belly fat refers to the fat that's around the middle of your body or your abdomen. And there are two types of belly fat. Visceral, and that's the fat that surrounds your organs, and then subcutaneous, which is the fat that sits just under the skin. And according to Harvard Health, the health complications from visceral fat are far more harmful than having subcutaneous fat. So there are several reasons people end up with that spare tire, but the big three are poor diet, lack of exercise, and stress. So excess belly fat can increase your risk of heart disease, heart attacks, high blood pressure, stroke, type 2 diabetes, asthma, breast cancer, and more. So you can see it's a really serious thing. And I know all of this sounds bleak, but don't worry because there are simple things that you can do to get rid of belly fat, keep it off, for good. So what you eat can have a big impact on belly fat. If you want to lose it, you've got to avoid eating certain foods, like red meat. Now look, I know, it's a great protein source, but it won't help reduce be belly fat. And a better choice is lean protein or chicken or fish, something like that. Now corn is another food to avoid if you're looking for a flat belly. Corn is known to have sugar in the form of fructose, which contributes excessively to that visceral fat that we talked about. Sugar is another thing. It's a form of carbohydrates filled with empty calories and no nutrition. Sugary drinks like juices and soda are especially bad because it's easy to consume a lot of them. Now, let's talk about fruit. Fruits that are high and medium on the GI, or the glycemic index, like guava or mango, are higher in fructose. And studies suggest that fructose can trigger your body's fat accumulation around the belly. So instead, pick fruits like green apples, strawberries, and blueberries, which are low on the glycemic index, and better choices if you're looking to reduce belly fat. Processed foods is another one we should avoid because trans fats are in there, and almost everything that you buy at the store that's processed will have these trans fats. And according to research conducted at Wake Forest University, trans fats move the fat of the body from other areas into the belly, making you more susceptible to having that belly fat. Okay, so what can you eat? I mean, is there anything left? Yes. There are lots of really good nutritious foods that will actually help you lose fat around your belly and keep it off. For example, a plant-based diet, which includes lean protein from beans, peas, lentils, fish, or chicken, will help you gain and maintain a flat stomach. And rather than those sugary juice or sodas, consume water throughout the day. You know, most of your metabolic functions occur in the presence of water. Water also helps you digest food and burn calories, which leads to less belly fat. So what about exercise? Which is the best for belly fat? Is it cardio, resistance training, body weight training, HIIT, Tabata? There's so many choices. Well, the good news is, according to Alex Harrison, PhD, belly fat doesn't decrease at any different rate depending on your training methodology. So the best advice is to add exercise and activity to your routine and mix it up a little bit to keep it interesting. And even though spot reduction doesn't work, don't forget to train your core. You'll have strong abs once the fat comes off. So you know, every week I like to give you a free resource you can use to keep moving forward in your health and wellness journey. This week I'm inviting you to my free private Facebook group, Pure Health 365. In the group, you'll find resources, recipes, tools, and more information on what to eat, what not to eat, and how to transform your body and health just like I do. If you're serious about losing belly fat and getting in the best shape of your life, you absolutely have to check out my Facebook group. Just go to 
facebook.com forward slash purehealth365. Did you get value from today's show? If so, please make sure to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.